Lake Abraham. Imagine for a second you were transposed into the karmic driven world of Earl. Numerous bubbles have formed under the water of the lake. I was surprised about the ice. Surprisingly, the lake means the greenery around us, the crystal clear water, the view of the boat floating. In that case, the matter of making a pile of ice is a little strange. But yes, such incidents also happen in the world. In today's episode of Amaze World, we will tell you about just such a lake. But before that, we hope you will subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. Abraham Lake is an artificial lake on the North Saskatchewan River in western Alberta, Canada. The surface area of the lake is 53.6 square kilometers. And this is the lake where this rare phenomenon of nature happens. The Transalta Corporation began construction of a dam on the Saskatchewan River in northern Canada in 1982 creating Lake Abraham, the largest man-made lake in Alberta. Despite being artificial, Lake Abraham is similar to other glacier lakes in the region. The main attractions of Abraham Lake are the ice caps of the lake, and winter is the best time to do so. Due to the extra cold in the lake, the bubbles freeze and become ice. But there is also a science behind it. The bodies of dead plants and animals at the bottom of the lake emit methane gas, which freezes on the cold surface of the lake. Later, when the weather gets colder, the bubbles get trapped under the water of the lake. It's great to see flat ice bubbles of various shapes on top of each other. It was this frozen bubble that made Lake Abraham popular. Numerous photographers have flocked here to capture the rare scenery. But as beautiful as the icy bubbles are, they are a cause for concern among environmental scientists. Methane bubbles are formed when organic matter such as dead plants or animals sinks to the bottom of the lake. As the organic matter decomposes, it emits methane gas which rises to the top. With the onset of winter, the bubbles freeze on top of each other and become blue-white crystals and frozen. Creates a unique structure of columns. As the ice melts, bubbles burst on the surface and methane gas is released into the atmosphere. But as beautiful as icy bubbles look, they are a cause for concern among environmental scientists. Methane bubbles are formed when organic matter such as dead plants or animals sinks to the bottom of the lake. As the organic matter decomposes, it emits methane gas which rises to the top. With the onset of winter, the bubbles freeze on top of each other and form a unique structure of blue and white crystals and frozen columns. As the ice melts, bubbles burst on the surface and methane gas is released into the atmosphere. Methane is a greenhouse gas that scientists say is 25 times more powerful than carbon dioxide once released into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gas emissions, such as methane, could lead to global warming and worsen the effects of climate change on the planet. Furthermore, since Lake Abraham is a man-made lake, it emits more methane than most. Since the lake was created by flooding in the formerly dry land, where organic matter such as plant life and vegetation already existed, Therefore, in natural lakes more organic matter is broken down in the lake bed than in natural lakes in general. As global temperatures rise, scientists fear. In addition, 
methane gas is highly flammable. So, viewers, if you know any information about the lake, you must share it in the comment box. If you liked this video, please like and share it. I hope you will stay, thank you.